Hello, good afternoon. This is Julio Cruz speaking again. Welcome to Daily Digest. In this video, we are going to continue from our last post, video post, that we basically ended up creating an OpenGL EX application where we display a sprite image to the screen. That was very basic from yesterday, but as promised, I was going to demonstrate today we're going to modify the application that we created from our last posted video. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, what we're going to do first is that in my web space at youtube.com, there's another resource that I recommended to, for you to check out. If you are still a little bit clueless of what I'm doing or teaching for the iPhone OpenGL demonstration, I would suggest to visit the following YouTube channel. If we scroll down, we see that I have some few subscriptions to various channels. The one in particular that I want you to check out is 71 squared. In this website, he explained the iPhone games development according to his point of view. What I really like about his videos is that he goes a step-by-step -step description and describing the commands, OpenGL commands, the OJTC commands. So with this type of resources and this type of channel being already assisted, I wanted to take um, another path different from 71 square. So if you were to first check his videos out, he will, as much as he could, teach you the fundamentals of games programming for the iPhone. However, my goal is different from his. I'm assuming that the viewer that is looking at this tutorial has the fundamental knowledge of Ojetet C and OpenGL EX. Even though I'm going to explain very briefly how to use some few commands of OpenGL EX to do what we want to do. In this case, for this tutorial, we want to animate a sprite. So, let's continue. From our last post, video post, we created a folder. Our folder was called Op uh, Daily Digest create image I changed the name today since I called it yesterday daily digest videos now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this folder gonna do edit copy and then edit paste item we're just gonna make another copy so we're gonna control click get info and we're going to name it differently. Animate Sprite. Okay. Once we're finished there, we're going to close this dialog. And we're going to open the folder. Open the test.xcode project. And in here, we're going to build and go to make sure that the application is still running correctly as we did yesterday. As you can see, the result that we got from the last video post of putting an image sprite into the iPhone in the center worked correctly. This is good and this is fine for the moment. However, we're going to change it around a little bit. So let's close this window iPhone quick iPhone simulator we're gonna go back to the folder and in the folder we have at least four images that GIF images that is yellow black one two three four we're going to grab these images from one to four so shift click the first and the last and click drag into the resource folder the dialog box is going up here and says select 
copy items into destination group folder if needed and then we're gonna click add we're just gonna add the resources all of the images into the resources folder in our Xcode project so as we can see one by one it goes to animate so we want to animate these images so let's close this window here and let's go into EAGLView.h and in EAGLView.h yesterday we created a sprite array or an array with a memory pointer for the tree image that we created yesterday today we're going to create another one GL texture and we're going to name it well let's name it the same yellow block excuse me and four once we have that created let's go to EAGL view that end and let's go to the last part to free the allocated memory that we're going to do later on so yellow block four and we're going to release the images now we're going to allocate the necessary memories for the images so as we did yesterday we did a for loop and a switch statement today we're going to do the same we're going to highlight it going to copy and paste it a little bit lower so initialized frames full yellow block texture sprites gonna paste it instead of going for frames is less than one we're gonna go to four frames plus plus frame plus one it's gonna go to we're gonna change the array so the array is yellow block here we go it did it automatically and for the first one we're gonna change the name the whole entire name in itself so yellow block one that GIF we're gonna copy and we're gonna paste it to the lower one and we're gonna go to the second one here we're going to go down like case to paste and it's more of a rinse and repeat type of process so case three paste four in case four just in case I'm gonna put a break and default break so now what we did is we allocated the necessary memory for each individual image now let's go down below and draw view 